These are the super secret things going on at Sweet Maria's Coffee right now. Yes, cups of coffee. But also cupping separations of coffee that is sorted by traditional color sorting techniques and also ultraviolet color sorting techniques um, of a huge range of coffees from really nice washed coffees that seem to benefit not so much from uh, defect removal, if there, you can even find defects, to some pretty edgy fruity coffees like Harar. Um, here we have a dry processed Yerga Chefe that we've separated. Um, each separation is done um, first with traditional color sorting, which produces the defects and the accepts, as we're calling them. And then we go to UV color sorting, and, um, and then we run that, and we have our accepts and our rejects. And the result is, and then we have our control sample, which is unsorted, which is probably the most important one of all. So um, we've done, so each, sam each coffee produces, we run at least 30 pounds, if not a full bag of coffee, um, through our procedure. And each one will produce five samples. Um, more samples there. More samples there. So what we've done is we've done natural Brazils, we've done natural Ethiopians of uh, two kinds, we've done wet hulled Sumatra, two kinds, we've done um, basically a, what we're calling dry hulled Sumatra, which is not truly wet processed coffee, but it's uh, coffee dried down like a traditional wet process rather than wet hulled. They actually hull it like a, um, like a Central America coffee. And uh, we've done some really nice coffees like our Guji Sukikuto, which um, was a very strange result where the traditional color sorting rejects, which are typically the worst coffee, was actually my highest scoring coffee, along with the unsorted. So sorting yielded no benefit, basically, with this really high quality coffee. Whereas what we found with um, Sumatra's, I basically have no visuals, so all I can do is show you cups of coffee. With this Sumatra's, what we seem to do is produce five different coffees that I'm sure you could find some cupper that would like each and every one of them. But since they weren't really super defective, like musty Sumatra lots, even um, where the UV uh, sorting would, would get the... Um, sort of uh, bacterial infected and mycotoxin, ochratoxin coffee. These just kind of produced fruity coffees. In fact, in the first round, the, out, the top scoring coffee was the UV rejects. So what it's showing is that this kind of separation, um, you have to really consider the coffee and the results uh, are, um, I'd say predictable, but um, not obvious. Uh, it doesn't obviously benefit every coffee to put it through, uh, you know, these, these tests. And um, we'll have a lot more to say about this later. Um, it's sort of just uh, in its infancy right now. We've only been working on it for three days. So um, expect more news about how we are doing our fancy color sorting. That's Sweet Maria's.